The first product on our list is Nipex 7401250. With versions available from 4 to 1 quarter of an inch to 10 inches in length, the Nipex 7401250 are the largest option offered by the company. The forged rivet on these ensures their induction hardened edges pair properly, even when they're up against nails and ACSR. The price approximately $33. There are 866 reviews which average rating is 4.8 stars for this product, a customer said. These are the best dikes that I have ever used. I have used them to cut hardened fish hooks, and they work very well. They are long enough and slender enough to get down into the throat of a bass's mouth and cut a worm hook in half for removal. For catch and release bass fishing, these will help you to avoid killing some of the baits that have swallowed the soft plastic lure. The rumor that just cutting the line and leaving the hook in the fish's gullet is wrong, Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife conducted research, and proved that fish hooks do not rust out quickly. Large hooks left in a bass's gullet will kill them most of the time. Another happy customer said. I've wanted to try a set of these since Jamie Heinemann, from Mythbusters, praised them. I was in no hurry since I already have quite a few other side cutters and linesman pliers from Gear Wrench and Channel Lock. Once Amazon had a deal on them, I bought them. I own three sizes of Nipex pliers, wrench and two sizes of Nipex Cobra pliers, so I knew the quality would be there, but what really surprised me was just how much better they cut. I compared them to my new, never used, channel lock side cutters that I keep in my off-road bag. These made replacing the safety wires on my garage door springs a quick process by allowing me to just cut the old cables off. I didn't have to fight with loosing up a bunch of cable clamps. These are the only ones that cut through the 1 8 wire rope with little trouble and they required less pressure, and cut better, than the Nipex 8 inches bolt cutters. These are now my, go-to, cutters and I fully understand why Jamie praises them. An unhappy customer said. They look well built, feel tough. Good reviews. These were my first thoughts. I have had these a little over a month and today they came to the point where they will not open, close anymore. $27 cutters only lasted me one month when I have had $7 cutters last me five plus months. I am a cable installer so cutting coax and 12 gauge copper wire is the worst action these have seen. Too expensive, feel dull, grip is not comfortable. Do not get these go for Klein Tools cutters way cheaper better quality. The second product is Irwin Vice Grip Power Slot. Available in 6, 7 and 8 inch sizes, the Irwin Vice Grip Power Slot apply technology that promises to double your power while having the amount of force required to close them compared to traditional offerings from the company. This product is available on Amazon for $27. There are 675 reviews which average rating is 4.7 stars for this product, a customer said. Asterisk review update March 19, 2019 Asterisk after reaching out to Irwin, I received a response and a free replacement for my troubles. While my initial pair didn't hold up as well as I had hoped it would, I cannot stress how amazing it has been working with Irwin. They didn't make excuses or offer alternative solutions. Rather they saw that their product was beginning to fail and they promptly stood by their limited lifetime warranty. My advice. If you're looking for some diagonal cutters from a company who stands behind their product 100%, look no further than Irwin.
I will definitely continue doing business with this company, they've made a loyal customer out of me for life. Original review I am a field technician and work with RG6 and RG11 cable daily. As such, I was looking for a tool that would enable me to cut cable more effortlessly than the original diagonal cutters I was issued by my workplace. Stumbling upon these, I figured I'd give them a shot. Unfortunately, I must say I am extremely disappointed. While they started off working quite well, as you can tell from the photos the blade of the pliers have begun to dent and deform making it difficult. Another happy customer said, I've been using these pliers for five days a week the last year and a half. Let a co-worker borrow them the other day and he cut a live wire in a junction box finally chipping a hole in the cutters. I beat the hell out of these. They act as a hammer for staples and nails, when I didn't feel like getting out the band saw I have used them to cut 300 mcm cable. After working out in the rain all day last month they finally started to get a little bit of rust and didn't open super freely like when new. I worked some graphite powder into the action and they were better than new. Also, I hate having a ton of wire nuts in a box, so I always use grounding buchanans, the crimper works perfect for these. Just bought two more. The next product is Channel Lock 338 8 inch. With grips covered in the company's iconic, baby blue vinyl, the American made Channel Lock 338 8 inch are specially coated to prevent rusting and feature laser heat treated edges. They are guaranteed for life against material defects and shoddy workmanship. The price approximately $20. This product has average 4.5 stars from more than 514 customer reviews, a customer said. After reading many positive reviews of Channel Lock products I decided to buy these. I wanted pliers with good steel and heat treating so the cutter edge will last better than the generic cutters I bought for my first toolbox. Those generic mini pliers rusted and froze up too quickly. These 8-inch channel locks offer better leverage and they came to me with a well-oiled hinge and marked made in USA too. I am confident these will hold up to a lot of use on all types of electrical wire. The plastic trays for my Stanley sockets have instructions showing where to use cutters like these to open them so they can be snapped closed afterwards. Another happy customer said. They are what I purchased the only problem I have if you wanna call it that is they're too sharp I'm a carpenter and I bought them mostly for pulling trim nails and staples and with hardly any pressure they cut. If you're buying them to cut wire these are for you but for my needs I'll have to wait for them to wear out before they'll be good for carpentry. An unhappy customer said. Hot garbage. Edges are easily sharp enough to draw blood, and not the cutting edges. Ground surfaces are rough enough to use as a file. Hinge is way too tight, need three fingers to open them up, might as well use both hands. The pile of pliers on the bottom shelf of HF have superior finishing. I was hoping for something in between German made and Chinese junk, instead got hot garbage at middle of the road price. The next product in our list is. Baco 2101 G180. Measuring 7 inches in length and rated to handle 3 32nds inch piano wire, the Baco 2101 G180 are designed with progressive edges that only touch near their tips, giving users better leverage on incisions made closer to their joint. The price approximately $31. The average rating of this product is 4.4 stars with more than 416 customer reviews, a customer said. Great cutters! Anyone who makes a living using tools will tell you that there is a certain feel they look for when choosing tools. 
There is usually a huge difference between bargain bin tools and higher quality, more expensive tools. Differences in the fit and finish and ergonomics of the tool are key differences between the two. The Baco cutters are among the best I've ever used. They have that high quality feel and cut cleanly. They feel good in the hand and won't leave blisters after a day of heavy use. I have since bought several of the Baco hand tools and have been very pleased with all of them. I highly recommend. Another happy customer said, Innovative design with excellent ergonomics. Really out of the box thinking with the spring design. Made in Spain unique spring return current picture is not correct for product decent cutting edge. An unhappy customer said, I had trouble cutting from the start and should have returned them right away. I examined them closer under a microscope after my 30 days were up to return them and quickly realized that the two blades do not come together all the way through. It touches only at the tip so cutting fine wire is very difficult unless the wire is at the very end of the cutters. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.